女と野獣の最後の恋。I'm going to do a part two. I mean, they convinced me to play it. It would not make sense to take advantage when you got better signal. Hey. Start a little bit so we can、um, record without the starvings of the screen all, all accidentally going black while we're reading it. So, right. This is festival food. Is there a festival on today or, or something? Hmm. Kyoa, Lord Light Ogok no Kenkok Kinemi da Karane. You bet there is. Don't tell me you forgot. <laughs> it's, it's really hard when you can't read some of these things. You should see all the street stalls they, they've got this year. There's so more than last year. Really? Are there any stalls I should be visiting? Okay, you can already tell. Our little lost puppy here is really excited to you. Look on his face. He wants to go on the festival. So, so. There's a lot of t h i n That's right, there is. I saw a second hand book stall. What? Really? Hmm. Tamatama Hong, Atsko, Tabishonin, a Kiterun, Janaikana. You know, we got traveling salesmen that come through now and then. I bet they're taking advantage of the festival. <sighs> Damn. I really want to go check it out. But I bet there's tons of books I haven't read too. But if I leave the store. Eat that aside. Off you go, Amelia. Go and have fun, some fun. <laughs> This is like when the fairy godmother tells you, You need to go to the ball, dang it. You gotta go dancing. And forget the prince. You got to put your dancing shoes on, girl. What? <laughs> I'll take care of the store while you're gone. Really? I love you. <laughs> He's an angel. I really gotta protect you. Really? Are you sure? Just who?、Uh, who do you think I am? I'm your future husband. I need to make sure you're always happy. <laughs> oh my god. I have never, I've never seen someone so determined. <laughs> well, I, I guess after the festival, we can get hitched. I mean, You know each other for three years, so what's the point? We can't waste life. In your dreams. <laughs> you know what? Amelia, you're sad. Because <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, how do we get married after the festival? <laughs> But thanks. I really appreciate it. <laughs> What are you thinking? He's really sincere. I don't think that was a joke. He wants to be part of your life. And you? Ugh. Why is it that I'm a good matchmaker, but I can't find my own match? I know when someone is really bad for another. 
because I had friends that are not my friends anymore and I told them to not date that guy because he was a jerk. And look what happened. They ended up dumping him. You could thank me with a hug. How about a kiss on the cheek? You're like a demigod. You're holding up the store where she can go in the festival. How about a high five? Oh no. <laughs> the most sweetest guy and you put it in a friend zone? Who are you? You already know who he is a fool. I wasn't kidding, you gotta appreciate what you have or it's not there no more. He's been holding out his arms hopefully, but at my words, I looked at when he looked at one hand higher than the other and I slapped it cheerfully. Of course you didn't give him a hug. Stupid Melia. Stupid million. I mean, if I had him for a best friend like that, I would definitely marry him. I mean, like, what the hell? I won't be long, I promise. I'll bring you a present too. You better. Hi. He treats you like a princess and you put him in a friend zone. Okay. Have fun! Amelia doesn't want you, I'll have you. I just hope that sweet smile doesn't track the any undesirables. Let's pray. There's other men out there that would try to kidnap her. Oh, don't jinx it, right? Don't jinx it. Oh, don't go to the festival now. I have, I have a good feeling. Thought I heard his mother words under his breath when I was leaving, but I decided to pretend I haven't. Amelia, it's good to see you here. Let me give you a rose hair clip to celebrate the foundation day. Wow, really? That's... Thanks! It's gorgeous! I will wear it with pride and tell everyone... Everyone where I got it. Amelia! I bet you had... Other brooches, too. I bet you love our... Brooches, too. Here. This is one for you. Don't tell... Don't tell anyone it was a gift. Are you sure? Thank you so much. I love it. I was already carrying awful books I bought. It was a struggle to figure out what to do with all these gifts. But I, but I was grateful for the kindness of the stall owners and I thanked them each one with a bright smile before moving on. As in me, as in, uh, hold on, lit. As in my, as I may, uh, as I may, uh, <laughs> I'm hilarious when I try to read out loud and I <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I have slight dyslexia. As I made my way down the street, I noticed there was a bandard somewhere, proudly proclaiming. I I would say the kingdom of roses. <laughs> Uh, I'm already suspicious. Sometimes I get 
so caught in the books that I forget to pay attention to the real world. But I love it here. Roses are an influence of our tradition, arts, and crafts. Our art, art, architectures. If I didn't say if, if I didn't say that right, I'll learn it. Trust me. And even the palace in the distance was surrounded by them. I mean, the festival is beautiful. Look all around. Whoever made this game, they put their heart into it to make it look so artistic. A deep breath um, brought, brought a, me the familiar sweet smell of roses bloom, and I smiled, glad all over again to be part to be a <laughs> town folk because I can't say it. <laughs> We're proud to be a town folk of this kingdom. And now that I got some new books, I should find something nice for Ryle to think him. I wonder if he he's he like What's where you're growing, you little brat? Hey! Huh? Don't turn around, Amelia! Run the other way, girl. You're in danger. What are you doing, huh? Ain't you going to apologize, Will? Oh, you want to, you want to hurt a child? Somebody give me a switch. Somebody give me, um, I want to borrow a farmer's rack and whack him with it. Oh. Don't you there! What do you want? What on earth are you doing? He's just a little boy. And Amelia is like us. We're against child abuse, okay? Shut up. It ain't gonna do... It ain't got... Nothing to do with ya. Oh, now he wants to put a fist on a woman? Somebody come and punch this man in the face. I wasn't about to ban the young boy. I jerk I jerked my arms up to block his attack when my book stumbled to the ground. Without thinking, I squeezed my eyes shut and bracing for the blow. I mean, you're about to get punched. And that's like, it's like painful for me as, as it is being kicked. Hang on. Wasn't that supposed to hurt? That's enough of that. Okay, open your eyes. Let's see what we're in for. It was the voice that I uh, that I heard never before, but it had a chameleon tone to it, but made me open my eyes. Well, the drunk 
man's fist hovered in the air and caught in the powerful grip of a tall, must, must be a man that stood behind me. should pick a fight with and the tents in the air told me that everyone else had sensed it too go Amelia go 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 or at least most everyone you wanna fight me yeah let's do it <laughs> Ikigaina. <laughs> You've got spirit. You've got spirit. I'll give you that. Wait, please. Um, I can't. Can we find some. Uh, <laughs> can we find a peaceful way to solve? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, this man's drunk. No! <laughs> My heart. Stop completely as the moment the drug man kicked it angrily at my falling books and several of them flying. Oh, oh, no, not the book. No, anything but that. I can't. I'm watching horror. I'm watching horror as they were sworn sw sworn through the air my page is flapping wildly before landing in the middle of the street oh he not just kicked him oh he ruins it he ruins it this is a catastrophe so much for getting new books I'd be the same to my terrorize my mangas. Of course, it had to be the right person, and I was riding a horse straight towards them. Oh. Wait, what? I don't need a prince to catch my damn books. Huh? It was 
because of Majesty and the Right Horse. But it was the writer that caught my attention staring at the staring at the books that as he whatever this is on his horse in. I think he was trying to calm it down because if a horse that saw something throwing straight at them, it would have been awful. Oh great. Now I have attention of two men who won't, who don't look like they should ever be misled. <laughs> who would be so? I don't know what this is, but I gotta learn. Um, remind me to write this le this letter word down. So, what is it? What? Was it you? Okay. We have to point at the drunk man, because it wasn't me. Oh no. You got the eyes of a killer. <laughs> um. I'm panicking. That's why I'm not reading properly. They're fighting! I don't like violence! Please stop it! Hey, let me calm down. <sighs> as his... Uh, his gaze was as cold as ice, something a ruthless glitter deep within, like a tiger, hatching the sight of its prey. He wasn't looking at me, and yet, I'm afraid to move. I'm afraid even the slightest twitch would bring the death bouncing down on me. That's what I'm feeling right now, and he's making me panic. Wait a minute. That crest on his sandal. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! You're royal. You're a member of the royal family, aren't you? <laughs> this is bad, Emilio. <laughs> I knew the. I knew this would go wrong. We should have stayed in the store. Do like a late night. Go in and stall to see what's left. Huh? Who the hell you think you are? <laughs> Stop staring at me. It's called staring? <laughs> oh no, he's stomping on them! <laughs> no! Tezokna Yokyonitskiotsmoriwanakata. I can't, I can't bear the watch. Oh my god. He is ruining my books. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. He got the sword. The battle of the festival around me seemed to fade in silence as the man began to draw his sword. For from the shit uh, his, at his hip. I don't even know. I almost said shield. She, she. <laughs> um, more words I need to learn how to pronounce, and, and I know how to spell now. Whoa, you can't. Be serious. Are you going to kill this man over this? I mean, he should be in prison or jail cell for a while. He stumped on books. And he assaulted a child. He should be throwing potatoes at him. So that gleam upon, upon the, the blade almost blinding me. And then I was moving 
I would too. <laughs> That's enough. Pull yourself together. <laughs> oh no. I just slapped him. Yes. I slapped the drunk man. I can see people staring at me a lot, a lot, lots of people. But most of all, I could see the, the gaze of the two st startled predators. What, did I just slap a man? I mean, it's very common when somebody's drunk, you gotta slap them. What's that for? You need to calm down. Or do you want to get yourself killed over this? What are you? I am a woman that just slapped you in the face. That's who I am. I glared at him. <laughs> just ran at the crest and the ball and it settled. Once I glanced, dra draining all the color <laughs> from his face. It was clear. <laughs> clear. It was clear and I finally got through him and I breathed quickly and sighed. Sigh of relief. We were turning towards the man on the back of the horse. I'm very sorry if you if we cause you any trouble. I hope you can find a way to forgive and forget this this incident. <laughs> you shouldn't be as apologizing. It should be the drunk man. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I just slapped this guy. It's not funny. I feel, I feel picked on. Maybe it's because I'm short and I just slap a man. And now I'm gonna be called short stacks, am I? thrown up and I was clearly jumping out of my skin. Uh, I could feel the moon in the, <laughs> the moon in the air and listening immediately. Are you sure? What? I'm tired of this. <laughs> Please. Please do not kidnap me. Please do not kidnap me. Are you done playing? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> There's three of them. <laughs> I am so doomed. Uh, anxiety rising. Another well dressed young man appeared in, in struggling smoothie as he. Redeeming him, himself as just nut horse next to the white one. Ah, Jikan o Mudanishta. Try to picture the horses. He's in a white horse, and I'm guessing this horse is brown and it has multiple colors on it. Ah, uh, horsies! Yes, this was a waste of my time. Uh, waste of your time. We're safe, I think. <laughs> no, we're not. Run. <laughs> we gotta run. <laughs> run away. Far away. This is a tense begin to. The tense begin to to sweet. Sweet? Sweet? <laughs> Out of me. Until I realized a man with ice blue gaze focused on my books. Oh no. Screw all close to the ground. <laughs> no? No? Not mine? Uh, I, no. <laughs> 
he is? <laughs> oh, you just had to say yes. Are you gonna say no and just go in your merry way? Back to Ryo. He's not <laughs> scary. I felt science is in staring intensely at my books. My breath hitched in my throat as I as his eyes narrowed. What am I missing here? Books there are scarred. <laughs> Books are uh, scarred. Why is it <laughs> scarred? Books are sacred to royal family or something? He gaze move, move suddenly from the books to me. Hitting me to the spot. And I. In. Is it. Densely heard the man next to me speak. Nanda. What now? Don't tell me you're in in for for romance. Anyone but no one's scary. Romance are worthless, but uh, oh! oh no! Oh no! I think I'm getting kicked. <laughs> oh, my biggest fear. This, <laughs> this is the sword. I'm <laughs> recording. <laughs> my mom's back. What are you talking to? I'm not cool. I'm not talking to anyone. I'm recording. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh 